Supermarkets have ruined the modern shopping experience. Random McKay sticks its middle finger up at them and goes around the world in 11 traditional markets. Let's start in Ecuador, where the cute mountain setting is a little more picturesque than your average Walmart car park. We've got vibrant shocks of wool, a gaggle of semi-useless household crap. And what's this? Pigs? Live pigs on the market? Up across to Peru and check out this witch. I'm not being mean, she's shopping at the witch's market. It's a place where you can buy baby llama skeletons and anything else you might need to create a potion that will cast a spell on tourists who insist on wearing socks and sandals. India. Few countries have markets as crazy or as crowded. Take Mumbai. But the stalls spill onto the streets like spluttering exhaust fumes. Head inside and you can find almost anything, from pictures of Hindu goddesses to fish that rots beneath the intense Indian sun. Women selling tomatoes and herbs or men offering up plates of carrots. India proves that there's a much more vibrant alternative to the modern supermarket and visiting one is a real sensual feast. Let's see what hides on the narrow market streets of Hong Kong. Put up the umbrella, brave the monsoon, and what are we going to find? Loads of stalls of Chinese food. That's hardly exotic. We've got that all around the world. If we're going to a market for groceries, let's find somewhere that's got a bit more than apples and pears. Check out this market in Jerusalem. We've got sugary, dried fruit, exotic spices that are going to blow your head off, and then an incredible selection of pastries. All of which I can't eat because I've got a nut allergy. Marrakesh's Jamar El Fanar certainly knows how to set the scene. Smoke rises from street market barbecues, fresh orange juice vendors stay open through the night, and then you head inside to the labyrinthine souks. These endless and narrow markets defy GPS systems, and trying to find your way out is a big part of the experience. If you do emerge from those souks, allow a Berber band to continue the Middle Eastern enchantment. The German Christmas markets also know how to set the scene. You've got the cute town hall lit up in lights, you've got the snow falling midwinter and a man with an endless collection of German beer. So why does everybody look so unhappy? What's wrong with these Germans, the miserable buggers? Even when they're eating sausages they can't smile. The quintessential African market might not have the same glitz and glamour but at least the people aren't so depressed. Perhaps it's because the main thing they can buy is sugarcane, a natural high that enables them to carry buckets of coal on their heads. Ethiopian markets are as crowded as they come, so stock up on the sugar and get ready to meet a hundred new faces. You won't meet many other tourists in Ethiopia's markets, but Cusco is tailor-made for the tourist experience. Even the vendors are quaffing iced western snacks as they wait for an American wallet full of dollars. And what's this prat doing in his zip-off trousers? You want to be careful, mate. The witch's market is only round the corner. Nepal. Cute mountain location, temple in the background, bit of colourful fruit and loads of smiles. But if you go into Asia, you don't want to use your legs and walk around the stalls. Head to Thailand and someone will take you on a boat through the market. These iconic floating markets really prove how boring and tedious Western shopping has become. So sit back, soak up the sounds and the smells, and enjoy an alternative shopping experience when you travel to the most exotic destinations on earth.